So in the past I play a little bit with some type of batteries and for this type of batteries I need to use this one. So this is some polymer gel electrolyte. So because I still have some of these polymer gel electrolytes uh, I was thinking to make some uh, video about battery which use this separator and yes I was thinking to make some uh, nickel iron polymer gel battery so instead of using some liquid uh, potassium hydroxide in this uh, nickel iron battery I was thinking to use this one so how to make this uh, polymer gel electrolyte uh, you will find the instruction in my video uh, with the name uh, polymer gel electrolyte for batteries the link will be in the description also but here I, I changed a little bit the amounts so in basic uh, the process of making this is in this video which will be the link in the description uh, but the amount which I use uh, to make this one so this this uh, polymer gel electrolyte is this so this one is dried and this is still in some solution form um, the amount which I use is 200 milliliters of water uh, 20 grams of potassium hydroxide and 28 grams of PVA and then I get something like this so okay uh, now to the battery uh, so like I said I will make some nickel iron battery also known like Edison battery and for the positive current collector I will use some nickel and the nickel is this and for the negative electrode I will use some iron and this will be my source of iron okay I have the positive electrode and the negative electrode now what I need is the active material so the active material in this nickel iron battery is of course some uh, nickel oxy hydroxide and um, but I don't have any nickel oxy hydroxide uh, I will use this nickel hydroxide so nickel hydroxide will be the active material for my positive uh, electrode uh, because when you will charge this nickel iron battery with nickel hydroxide uh, the nickel hydroxide will form into nickel oxy hydroxide so when the nickel iron battery is charged uh, then on the positive side the active material will be some nickel oxy hydroxide and on the negative uh, electrode will be some iron but when this nickel iron battery will be discharged then on the positive side you will have some nickel hydroxide and on the negative electrode you will get some iron oxide so I will start with nickel hydroxide because I don't have nickel oxy hydroxide so this is my container for this active material uh, so the amount I just guessing and right now I have 1.5 grams and this will be enough so I'm basic my plan is to make uh, to make some slurry that's why I need also some potassium hydroxide which is in liquid form and I will add a little bit of uh, potassium hydroxide to make a slurry
Yani Mavist. So these containers are really useful if you make some active material uh, in really uh, small quantities. Okay, now I have uh, this nickel hydroxide in some slurry form, but uh, to improve this active material, I will also add some conductive material, some conductive additive. The conductive additive which I will add will be some carbon black. And I will put ah, it's a little bit too much, just a little bit to improve the conductivity of the nickel uh, hydroxide. And now you need to mix very, very well. And in the end you will get some black colored pasta. I also think that uh, finding some uh, nickel hydroxide is way easier uh, as to find some nickel oxyhydroxide. But anyway, uh, some nickel oxyhydroxide you can also find in some nickel nickel uh, metal hydrate batteries. But today I will make my own uh, active material. And now I will just coat the nickel current collector. Okay, this is really nice. Uh, and now I need to cut the separator. So like I said, this separator and electrolyte will be this uh, gel polymer, polymer gel electrolyte. Oh, really nice. Uh, so this one is a little bit thick, but anyway, I will make this battery with this, what I have, okay. Okay, the positive side of this nickel iron battery is ready. Uh, so right now I have the nickel current collector. Uh, also I have nickel hydroxide active material. And on the top I put some uh, polymer gel electrolyte. And now I need some negative active material. So in this stage, because I use some nickel hydroxide on the positive side, that's why I need to use some iron oxide on the negative side. But I will just go with some iron powder. And now I will just use a little bit of iron powder. So better is using some powder because uh, the material in the powder form have really nice surface area okay and on the top I will put this rusty piece of iron and that's it and now I need to charge this battery 
I will connect to my power supply this is the positive this one is the negative and let's charge it okay enough of charging uh, I add also the second clip uh, that the cell was re compressed together and I charge this cell for oh, I don't know five six seven minutes something like this um, and I will disconnect this cell from my power supply and now I will check the voltage so the usually voltage uh, the working voltage of this battery is 1.2 uh, volts And yeah, 1.4 is with any load. Let's check if oh, yeah. This one is working really, really great.